Hi, so let's talk about the perfect rectangle. So I give it a 2D in array rectangles. And then uh, so every single rectangle array represent xi, yi, and then ai, bi, right? So it's going to be like, like four different directional spots. And then uh, you want to return true if all the rectangles uh, form together is a, you know, a big rectangle region, right? So in this question, it's pretty uh, simple to understand, the, but the problem is that you need to uh, find out the solution is hard, right? So uh, again, I, I don't know which one is going to be the first one, but uh, for over here, it's 1133, right? So one 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 represent the left corner, uh, yeah, and then the three two represent the top right corner, right? So again, you want to form the uh, the spot, right? So you will get this one, right? And then one one three three is also represent the four different corner uh, spot. So one, so one one, and then this is one three, right? One three. And this is three one, and this is three three, right? So this is going to be represent what? Um, the x one, x one, right? And this is going to be what? Uh, y one. And this is going to be what? X two. And this is y uh y two, right? And then we want to uh form the uh, the angle, right? I mean, sorry, from the spot, right? So it's gonna be x1, comma y1, and then x2, uh, sorry, x1, comma y1, and x1, comma y2, right? And then x2, comma uh, y1, uh, x2, comma y2. So they are like uh, the spot, right? So uh, so once you get the four different spot, right? And then you will traverse another rectangle, probably a uh, probably a square, right? And then you will hit the same uh, same spot, right? So once you hit the same spot, right? Then you will be able to know you are connecting with someone else, right? So I'm going to store the four different corner with you know uh, in uh, in the set, right? So if the if the if a coordinate does not in the set, I add it right. If a coordinate is already in a set, just I mean just for uh, just for example, for this big square, this will add into the set first, right? And then for this small square, this will add into the set again. So you want to remove the coordinate, right? So this will only add it twice, right? So if you add once and then you remove the second time, this will no longer this will no longer exist, right? So the leftover is this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. For only these two square, right? But when you add everything up, if I add these three, right? If I add a third square, right? I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to add another spot here, another spot here, another spot here. If I add another square here, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to add another one here. I'm going to delete this one. If I add another one here, I'm going to add this one. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. Delete, delete. Oh, sorry, delete. And then this one is already deleted, right? And then you'll just add here, add here, add here, add here, right? So there are four different final uh, spots in your set, and this is pretty much the solution. So in the meanwhile, right, you need to add an area. You need to add an area. Uh, you, I mean, you need to calculate the area, right? And once and once you finish, you want to see if is the area the total area is equal to these four different you know spots. So it's going to be x two minus x one times y two minus y one. And this is represent. I mean, this is represent a uh, perfect rectangle, right? So this is uh, pretty easy. So let's talk about the solution. So the base case is going to be what? If a rectangle at i, sorry, if a rectangle is equal to norm, or rectangle at length is actually equal to zero, or rectangle at zero, 
So as zero dot length is actually equal to zero, you want to return false. Right? Alright. Now I need to keep calculating my x1, my y1, my x2, my y uh, y2, right? So here, here. Alright. So x1. I'm going to set the x1 into the maximum. This is this is represent my x1. This represent my x2. And then I mean I mean the boundary, right? And this is represent my y1. This is represent my y2. And I'm going to set the x1 into the integer dot max value. This is because I will keep minimize my x1, right? And then same thing for what? For what? For y1, right? Initial my y1 into max and minimize my value later. And then x2 represent what? Integer dot mean. Mean val. And then later on, we'll just keep finding my minimum value. Uh, sorry, maximum value for x1. Alright, I need to traverse my rectangle. Alright. So, uh, again, the x1 represents the uh, uh, rectangle 0, right? But I need to find out which one is the minimum, right? Which one is minimum, the smallest one. So it's going to be this, x1. Same thing for x2, but in this one, I need to say max. And same thing for y1, right? Same thing for y2, right? So let's just go by order. Uh, x1 represent what? The zero index. And then y1 represent the... Uh, first index, so it's gonna be this uh, mass dot min rectangle at one comma y one. All right, and the max value of second index and max value of third index, right. Oh, sorry. This is X, uh, y, uh, this is y two, right? All right. So once I have it, I need to keep adding my area, right? So it's gonna be what you just using this because this is the smallest. This is a, I mean, this is the current rectangle uh, array, and then this array actually has the area. I'm I'm not allowed to use this because I will keep adding the duplicate area, right? And it's gonna be what plus equal to what rectangle at two minus rectangle at, uh, at zero, right? Just imagine this is a little x2, little x1, x2 minus x1 times little y2 minus little y1. All right, so uh, you need to know like, um, basically you need to know like, do I visit this uh, coordinate or not, right? So I need to say set string set new asset so i'm going to just keep my note for point one equal to what rectangle is zero plus a string rectangle a one right this is uh the point one right and then point two point two rectangle is I mean, it's pretty much the same, but this is what three point three. This is going to be two one right point four two three. All right, so I'll just add into the set. So set the add my point one. So in this one, the add function return true and false, right? So if I add it, then it's true. If a if a point if a point is already inside the set, this will return false, and then you have a negation in there, so it will turn out to true. So 
I need to remove if the point is if a point coordinate is already inside the set, right? And then send idea for the rest of the you know point, right? It's point two, point three, point four, right? So once you finish the traversal for the for the loop, right? You will only have four coordinate inside your set. So set that size. If a set that size is not equal to false, uh, four, you return false, right? Or also, if the set does not contain the big rectangle, I mean, sorry, the big square, probably or perfect rectangle, yeah, big rectangle. This is x one, y one. If this does not contain, then you want to return false. So set that contains x1 plus y1 and then exactly the same idea uh, this is x2 y, uh, y1 x1 y2 and then x2 y2 right there are four different coordinate uh, spot right so you will return false if 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 you don't have the point if you don't have the point because I add a point into the set every single traversal. If you don't have it, then you return false. And everything else, you return true. But the problem is what? You need to calculate the area, right? So we we have an area, right? Then we we'll calculate the area. If the area is actually equal to what? x2 minus x1 times y2 minus y1. Alright, so this is pretty much the solution. So, uh... Oh, I don't have an area, so area equal to zero. So, so this is the only typo I have. All right, submit. All right, parts right. So the time and space are pretty straightforward. This is for the time, right? The time you traverse the rectangle array, and everything else is all of one, right? So the total time is going to be all of r. R represent length of the rectangle, and space is what the set. And it's going to be all of R. It depends on the, the number of the coordinate you have. So it's all of R as well. And the solution is pretty straightforward. So uh, let me just pause. You know, I mean, make a breakpoint. And then using using debug mode, and then you will be able to see the different kind of procedure. Just look at the left. Right, and then right you're traversing right now you want to calculate the area right then you pass right so this is straightforward enough and then, uh, do I have different do I have different one using the what k3 okay k3 so still debugging All right, so now I need to make sure I have what the four four different coordinate, right? But look at this. This doesn't look like the four, so you will return false right away. So this is pretty much the solution. So if you still have a question, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want it, and I will see you later. Bye.